In this problem, we are asked to find the critical points and critical values, if there are any, of this function here, 1 third x to the 1 third power minus x. Now recall that the critical points are those points at which the derivative is either undefined or equal to zero. But in order to determine that, we first need to find what the derivative of this function is. And rather than doing this all at once, let's break it apart a little bit using the linearity of the derivative. So we can pull out this one third up front, and then subtract the derivative of x with respect to x. So most of this is pretty simple other than this guy right here, the derivative of x to the one third. So, let's go ahead and get started with that. In order to find the derivative, we need to take the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. It's our standard definition for how we find the derivative. So, let's plug in both of these into f of x. Well, in this case, we're just looking at x to the one-third, not the entire f of x. I'm going to relabel this g just to avoid confusion. So this is going to be x plus h to the one-third minus x to the one-third over h. And we're taking the limit as h goes to zero. So. We're in a bit of a bind here. We don't have any usual methods for dealing with things that are inside cube roots. But there is something we can multiply this by that will help us a little bit. We're going to call q a somewhat mysterious looking value, x plus h to the 2 thirds plus x plus h to the one-third times x to the one-third plus x to the two-thirds. Try to make that a little bit clearer for you. Okay, so that's q. Let's multiply the top and bottom of this limit by q. So we're just multiplying by 1 essentially, so the value doesn't change. But we'll see that this does help us. Limit as h goes to 0. So we're multiplying this numerator times q. We'll do it two, term by term. You'll see how this helps us. x plus h to the 1 third times x plus h to the 2 thirds. That right there is just x plus h x plus h to the one-third times x plus h to the one-third times x to the one-third. Well, that right there is going to be x plus h to the two-thirds times x to the one-third. All right, x plus h to the one-third times x to the two-third. This is starting to look a little bit messy, but you'll see that we do get some nice cancellations in a minute. Okay. Now let's move on to the x to the one-third. We multiply this times x plus h to the two-thirds. We get minus x plus h to the two-thirds x to the one-third. Multiply this by this guy over here and we get minus x plus h to the one-third times x to the two-thirds now. And finally, when we multiply x to the one-third times x to the two-third, we just get x. And all of this is over h times q. This doesn't look any nicer than before, but 
as I said, we do get some cool cancellations. So we see that we have a plus x plus h to 2 thirds x to the 1 third, which matches up with our minus all that over here. Those cancel out. And similarly, we have x plus h to the 1 third x to the 2 thirds, positive and negative. So those cancel out. Happy clams. So what this really is, the limit as h goes to 0 of x plus h minus x over h times q. Well, x minus x is 0. So really, all we're left with is limit h over h times q. But the h's cancel. So we can now just plug in our q and see what we get. So we have x plus h to the 2 thirds plus x plus h to the 1 third times x to the 1 third plus x to the 2 thirds. Okay, and we're taking the limit as h goes to 0. Alrighty, at this point we can simply plug in 0 for h because we're not going to have any problems with 0 in the denominator. And we find that we get x plus h. This just goes to x to the 2 third. This is also x to the 1 third, and this is x to the 1 third. Multiply those together, we get x to the 2 third. And then here we just have x to the 2 thirds, yet again. Well, this can certainly be simplified. We get 1 over 3 times x to the 2 thirds. This right here is the derivative of this chunk right here, x to the 1 third. So now we can plug that in and find our derivative of f. So we get 1 third times 1 over 3x to the 2 thirds minus the derivative of x, which is just 1. And then we can multiply these two constants together, and we just get 1 ninth. So there is our derivative of f. Now, let's get rid of this so we have a little bit more room so that we can find our critical points. So, in order to find our critical points, we need to find where f prime of x is either undefined or equal to zero. Well, right off the bat, we can see that it's undefined when x equals zero, because then we're dividing by zero and we don't know what to do. So, bam, there's one critical point right there. A little bit trickier is to try to find what happens, or try to find points where the derivative is zero so we have 0 equals 1 over 9x to the 2 thirds minus 1. We'll just bring the 1 over to this side, 1 over 9x to the 2 thirds. We'll multiply both sides by x to the 2 thirds equals 1 ninth. And then we can take the 3 halves root of both sides two three halves and you may not know this off the top of your head but with a little bit of algebraic manipulation you'll find that this is equal to plus or minus 1 over 27 awesome so our critical points are x equals 0 x is positive 1 27th and x equals negative 1 27th. So, make a quick list. 0, 1 over 27, and negative 1 over 27. All right, 
So there's a list of critical points. Now all we need to do is plug each of these values into our original function and see what we get. Okay, so first we'll do the easiest one, which is f of 0, which is 1 third 0 to the 1 third power minus 0. Surprise, surprise, it's also 0. Now we'll do f of 1 over 27, which is 1 third times 1 over 27 to the 1 third power minus 1 27th. So 1 over 27 to the 1 third power, that's going to be 1 third again. Because if you look at it the other way around, 3 cubed is 27, so 1 third cubed is 1 27th. Minus 127. This is 1 ninth minus 1 27. We'll just multiply the top and bottom of this by 3. And then we get for our final value of this, it's right over here. 3 minus 1 is simply 2 over 27. Okay. So now we need to do the exact same thing for negative 1 over 27. So 1 third negative 1 27th to the 1 third power. This time it's going to be plus 1 27th. And then we'll find that this is just negative 1 ninth plus 1 27th. Once again, multiply the top and bottom of this by 3. We get negative 3 27th. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. That's our final value. So, put all this together, what do we get? List of critical points is 0, 0, 1 27th, and 2 27th. And our last one is negative 1 27th, negative 2 27th. There is our final answer.